Hi Scorpio, this is a general love reading for the last part of July 2021 for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it is general, it's not going to be for everybody, but you can check out one of your other signs. And also the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. If you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. So let's see, what is going on with Scorpio? For the last part of July, what is the overall energy? Okay, we have Ascending and we have Mute. I feel like this Mute card just keeps showing up for like so many Zodiacs. So yeah, I feel like there's a lot of withdrawal, a lot of silence that has been going on just for the collective overall. But what I'm getting here is that if you feel like, you know, there is this silence all right between you and another person you are ascending okay you are ascending through the silence if there's a separation it's the separation that is helping you to move forward and to evolve okay and this could also be true for your person so let's get into the tarot and get more information all right so scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs I'm curious to know which which of your signs you feel resonates with you the most. Is it your sun, your rising, your moon, your Venus, another sign maybe, or another placement? So for Scorpio, let's see, the recent past, we have the Ace of Wands, the Emperor, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so this is a connection where I feel like there was a lot of passion. It, you know, there was like, even maybe it felt like a new beginning or something was beginning to rekindle or to come back to life. And I feel like there was a lot of certainty behind this and then things just kind of went cold. So we'll get more information when we clarify. Let's see what's going on in the present. We have the Nine of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the King of Swords. Okay, interesting. So we have the King of Swords right under the Queen of Swords, uh, which just really does not feel like, like it's typical for Scorpio to be in this energy. Um, we have lots of fire and we have air. So at the moment, I feel like you are, you're going through a struggle. I feel like this is something that has been going on for a while where maybe things just kept feeling like they were about to take off. It was like this constant new beginning, but then it just didn't manifest. It just wouldn't work. And I feel like this has been going on for a while and it's gotten to the point where you're just about ready to give up. But you're trying to really have a handle on the situation. You're trying to really be um, victorious through this in the sense of, you know, kind of, I feel like you're trying to stand your ground basically. You don't want to lose control over your own self in this connection because it may feel like you have lost some control in the past when things just were not working out in the way that you thought they would or in the way that you would have wanted and it just felt like you know you just were not the emperor like it felt like it was that way and then it just wasn't because things would just go cold and i feel like right now you want to be on top of your game you don't want to be in that position anymore so let's see what is coming up here for you the king of pentacles the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Cups. All right, so keep in mind that the roles can definitely be reversed. This reading could be tapping into your person's energy, okay? So you might even want might want to cross-watch for your person because things can be vice versa, all right? So, yeah, um, I feel like somebody is coming in here. Somebody is wanting to move towards you in a more consistent or in a more stable type of a way but I feel like there's something here where it's just 
I don't see you really wanting to take that opportunity because you are afraid possibly of things working out in the way that they worked out in the past. You're afraid of the history repeating itself here. You're still holding on to that past and what happened in the past. And so for that reason, I have the sense that you might not actually accept this or that you are just going to stop expecting it to come in. But we'll see, that doesn't mean that it won't. It also doesn't mean that it will necessarily, okay? This is just probably for like a 10 day span here. So let's actually clarify. I feel like you're just very determined at the moment to kind of um, hold on to your pride. It, there might be a little bit of ego involved here, but I, I'm not seeing that as a negative aspect of your energy. I actually feel like it is a healthy um, part of your ego kind of playing out. Like just not allowing someone to take advantage of you or step all over you or, you know, to be in and out of your life. So let's clarify that Ace of Wands in the recent past. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands, the Lovers, and the Six of Pentacles. So yeah, this was, a, like I said, this is a connection that was trying to, it just kept feeling like it was going to take off, but there was something heavy with that, like something just was not working out here. Maybe um, you or the other person had this sense of responsibility um, somewhere else in a different area of their lives, not knowing how to be able to exactly give to this connection in the way that would be necessary in order for it to actually progress, all right? There definitely was, though, a lot of love here. There was definitely a very, very deep connection with the lovers being here, but I feel like with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Pentacles, this person was not able to actually um, give enough of their time or enough of their energy or enough of their resources, whatever that might be. It could be commitment. It could be anything. Um, to this connection and so it feels like that's why it was constantly this ace of wands where it's like about to come back it's about to come back but then but then there it feels like there was some kind of distance some kind of coldness all right with the queen of swords and the king of swords being here so let's clarify that queen of swords Alright, we have ooh, the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles clarifying the Queen of Swords. Yeah, see, so I knew that this Queen of Swords was not like this like <laughs> positive part of this reading. Um, it's definitely some coldness here, right? Somebody feeling rejected, somebody feeling abandoned, somebody feeling just um, left out in the cold and feeling deceived in a way, all right? Feeling betrayed. And so that created the distance between the two of you. Let's move on to the present. Let's see that Nine of Wands. All right, we have the Hierophant, the Six of Swords, and the Chariot. So yeah, it does feel like the actual commitment to, to this connection from somebody's part is what has been the challenge. Somebody has not been very consistent. Um, somebody may have been in and out. I see the chariot and the six of swords. So it's like somebody's moving away from this and then somebody's moving towards this. And there's an issue here when it comes to the actual commitment, like being just in the traditional sense, like actually just staying here and making it work. Um, this is what has been such a challenge. And also for you as well. This is something that you feel like, you know, you have been struggling with in this connection for a while. And it's like you're still kind of feeling that challenge. And I feel what's being challenged, challenging to you right now at the moment is actually trying to leave this in the past. Not expecting this 
chariot to come in because it's impulsive and it comes and it goes. And so you're trying to leave that in your past, trying to move away from this. And I actually feel like you are doing that because we do have the Six of Wands and the King of Swords following that. So that's actually a good thing, regardless of whether, you know, sometime in the future things shift and you end up with this person or not. Let's clarify the Six of Wands. Okay, we have, ooh, we have the Devil, the King of Wands, and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so you might still have some, there might still be a little bit of this um, toxicity in your thought process of how things might work out and possibly even doubting your own capability or maybe even this person's capability of actually being able to step up to the plate here, to be determined to come after you, to overcome whatever their challenges are, which could even be um, cultural issues or societal issues for some of them. There's, yeah, there's still a little bit of fear I feel attached to you, but I, it, it also feels like you are kind of coping with this in a very productive type of a way. I feel like you, there might be a little bit of overthinking concerning what might happen or what might come out of this or how you're going to be in the future concerning this connection, but it's almost like you're feeding into that in a way. But like I said, you're still kind of coming out on top. You know, trying to really be determined here and move forward away from this. Although, there, like I said, it's just that there's this little bit of fear that you might be holding on to. Let's see the King of Swords. Alright, we have the Magician, the Seven of Swords, and... The Knight of Cups. This is interesting because I feel like you're trying to manifest something here within this connection, but I feel like the message here is to actually just be a little bit cautious of how you do that because you don't want to manifest the same thing again. I feel like it might actually be in your power to manifest this person coming back in and being really sweet and loving and caring and affectionate but with the seven of swords being here you know that you just have to be really cautious about or at least aware of the fact that if they're not ready if they if there has not been a shift on their end you know they might just kind of slip away from this connection again and it might be you know just that history actually repeating itself which is what you don't want at least for now okay that's just for now for the time being and just to call out a couple of the um, signs that i'm seeing here um we definitely have capricorn on the table we have cancer we have um Taurus, Aries, yeah, so a whole bunch of signs, Gemini, a whole bunch of signs. I don't, I don't feel like any one in particular is standing out, so yeah, it could be any sign that you were dealing with. Let's see what is coming up, though. So let's see this King of Pentacles. All right, we have the Eight of Wands and the Emperor showing up again. So yeah, there's definitely movement coming towards you from somebody here, all right? Somebody that is going to feel, it's going to feel very confident, like they're very confident. It's going to look like they're taking control of their, over their lives, and maybe they are. Maybe they are. Um, but it's interesting because we also have the Ten of Swords, so I feel like, you know, it, I almost feel like you are manifesting, you might be manifesting a repeat of the past. And you're just, your spirit teams right now are asking you to just be a little bit cautious of that. Be a little bit mindful. 
I mean, this person might, I'm not saying that their intentions are in the wrong place because I, I don't see anything negative here exactly. I do see that this person wants to bring stability. So that is definitely in their intentions. But the question is, have they made that shift? Like truly from within so that it can actually take form. Their, you know, like what actually happens needs to match what their intention intentions are. Having the, just the intentions, that's not enough. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. Alright, so we have the Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. See, so it's like this Nine of Wands energy, this, this bit of a struggle, this resistance, it's like it's showing up again here. So I don't know, for some of you, there's a third party involved, maybe, or just some, a third party doesn't have to be a person, it could just be any external influence. I feel like that energy is still, it's still kind of in the air, it's still here, coming up in the near future. Alright, so I do feel like it's still, there's still going to be this essence of things being, feeling a little bit like a struggle um, when it comes to this person coming back in and presenting themselves as being very ready or just very confident. It's almost like giving you these signs like, like, yeah, you know, look, I'm here, you know, um, I'm this Knight of Cups, I'm very charming, I'm very affectionate, giving signs of commitment, but has there been a shift? So I actually feel like you're going to have this tendency to not want to really entertain this idea as much. Or if you do, it's just you're not going to do it wholeheartedly. Let's see the Five of Cups. Alright, we have the Star and we have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so... You don't want to go back to the past. There's a, there. I feel like you know, depending on how you take this, like if you, um, I also have the two of cups flip over here in the beginning. Just realized because it was turned the other way. Um, it feels like you, if you perceive this in a different way than what it actually is. For example, if you have this expectation that, yeah, you know, this time it's for good, I feel like there might be some disappointment and then there might be some regret in actually getting involved or, you know, going back to this. And then it's like with the star, there's still going to be this hope for, for this connection to manifest again. So it's kind of like a pattern repeating itself. Whereas if you see this as, okay, you know what? I know what your pattern is. I know what this leads to then in that case, I feel like you are going to feel more um, in alignment with your own self and you're going to feel like, you know what, at least I know, at least I am aware of what is happening here. And so, and I, I still feel like there is hope here, that's the thing. I still feel like there's hope for this connection, but I feel like y you're just being called to really be mindful of the fact that this person um, May, may or may not have shifted, all right, when they come back around. For now. The love is definitely there. There is some kind of love here. There is emotions, but I feel like this person might be dealing with something um, difficult in their life right now, and that could be influencing them, or, you know, it could even be just from within themselves, and it's just something that they need to work on and heal. And... That is a possibility here for them, all right, with the, with the star and the two of cups. All right, so Scorpio, let's get your final oracle message if this resonated. And we have the full moon. Surrender to the divine. So that is the message for you, to just surrender to the divine. You know, don't have expectations. Allow the divine to just guide you and take you to where you need to go. Allow the divine to also give you the messages that you need to hear that are for your highest good. All right, and just follow your intuition. So, Scorpio, those were the messages. I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.